guys, it's Natasha King, your Bajan Tours. Welcome to BT Travel. And today we're gonna get into something new. But before we do that, I'm gonna ask you a question. What do you think you get when a former New York City luxury fashion designer decides to take his love for food, flavor, and fun and take it to the next level? You get what's right behind me. Firebird. We're gonna find out all about it and I'm gonna taste some good stuff and tell you what I think. Let's go. Meet Vivek Negrani, the creator, chief cook, and bottle washer of the Indian fusion food truck, Firebird, that is located at Worthing Square, Christchurch. The idea for the Tasty Street East venture came to him at his parents' home, where he spent eight months learning the art of cooking Indian food from his dad during the COVID-19 lockdown. It was during that time that he decided to pivot from his career as a successful luxury men's fashion designer in New York City, with clients that included elites from the late U.S. President George H.W. Bush, make the move to Barbados, draw on everything he'd experienced, and open up Firebird. Uh, I'm taking my father's recipes and manipulating them and changing them to become more uh, acceptable by more people. So it's not overly Indian, it's more Indian food for beginners. You get the soul of India, but you get this unique taste that represents a lot of my experience over the last 20 years in clothing. Fashion designer Fashion. to now Street chef. cook. Well, chef, not yet. <laughs> I'm still in the learning process, so that's why I still don't wear a jacket or anything like that, because there's a respect for, like I always say, a cook makes food for everyday eating. A chef makes food for special occasion right. dining, you know? And it's a totally different, totally different uh, perspective. But uh, I tell you, I love it. I love the authenticity of people that cook, because I think if you choose something like this, in your soul, you have to have an appreciation for people, a love for what you're doing, because you're sharing that energy with people and what you're con cooking, they're consuming. So when you come in here, I think the attitude for anyone who's cooking food has to be very positive. I'm influenced by everything. I mean, especially even when I was in fashion, I was influenced by everything I saw, how people live, how they move, how they exist, how they dine, how they entertain. And then I would design clothing to, for that. And in here, it's the same thing to me. It, it's, it's crazy that you think that like it's such a dramatic move from fashion to food, but food is art. And food has this ability where someone can design, like we design the menu. This stuff doesn't exist anywhere. You don't get these combinations of flavors. There's no place in the world that has that. And that's my ability to create something that was unique and different. With the twists that Vivek and his team put on the traditional Indian dishes that they make, there's no question that the Firebird menu is like no other. So basically, like, look, the base is the chicken tikka and the Thunderbird sandwich, right? But okay, I, for those of us who don't know what uh, chicken tikka is. Chicken tikka is a classic Indian, like what you would normally call tandoori chicken, but chicken tikka would be the smaller versions instead of the whole chicken, so you right. get the smaller pieces. Um, and I took that recipe and then designed a menu that was allowing me to express my sense of food and my vision on food but share my food with more and more people. Because I think a lot of people get very intimidated by Indian food, overly spicy, overly flavor, too much spices and flavors that really actually in many ways dilute the whole thing. So I wanted to bring that spirit of Indian food and now make it more appealing to a broader audience. So using the influence of cooking techniques, why is Italian food so tasty? Yet it's just a handful of ingredients. It was a method in which they cook it, the technique they use to cook it. So I started using that technique with reducing the amount of Indian spices I was using and letting the spices I really like come alive and slowly cook it rather than try and just cook it like most Indian food. Uh, but let it just kind of simmer and go through different processes so all the flavors kind of really manifest themselves. Mm -hmm. So, you know, when you think Indian food, you think rice, you think curry. What's on the menu at Firebird? Our number one is a Thunderbird. And that is a, basically an Indian taco. But we took the shell, instead of doing anything normal, we designed it to be part naan and part Italian piadina. 
their next dish, obviously we mentioned rice because it's a very Indian thing. So I've taken a rice, Indian rice, pilaf, and combined it with a Spanish kind of vibe with a touch of Italian. And then the next thing was our uh, egg burji. So it's a very famous North Indian spicy scrambled eggs, and it's delicious. So we took that, put in the nandina, added the pickled onions and the sauce. So it's a very simple menu, but each item is totally unique. I am excited because you told me you're going to prepare something that I, I am. can taste. And all those things you just told me about, I'm just like, OK, can't wait. Well, let's rip. So let's go. Let's do it. Let's go. Let's, let's go see it. what's cooking. Let's see what's cooking. Firebird Kitchen. While Vivek finished up in the kitchen, I headed upstairs to the bird's nest, where you can make a reservation to have dinner in the evening for what he calls shabby shack dining. What he delivered did not disappoint. I what want to introduce here? you to the Thunderbird. The Thunderbird. It is our version of the Indian taco in a sense. Okay. And this is what we were talking about earlier with a naan mixed with a piadina. So you will now get to actually understand it. Ooh. And oh the God, seasoning on the fries are my dad's old recipe. Uh -huh. Secret recipe. Secret recipe. Secret recipe. Everything. Look at that. Yep. So the base is the nandina. Mm -hmm. Naan meets piadina. Oh. Then we have it laced with our secret jalapeno hot sauce, mm -hmm. which don't get afraid. It's not that crazy. Okay. It's just filled with flavor. Nice. Chicken. Mm -hmm. Cucumbers. A yogurt raita sauce, um, and then finish with a pickled onion. Everything sounds so good. Everything is original. So I'm about to bite in, guys, and it smells amazing. And it, you just saw what it looks like. So here I go. Mm. Now you see why people are Talk not getting about bored. A mouthful of flavor. So. We've got the cucumber and the yogurt sauce. And then just the right kick, the right spice, and the chicken is so tender. So you've definitely married those flavors. Yeah. The whole, the Indian flavor of the chicken. Mm-hmm. It's that little, tasting a little Zest. masala, yeah. some sort of cumin. Mm-hmm. Oh my goodness, it's crunchy, it's delicious. And the, and the naan? Is incredible. Well, I definitely need to hit the gym because if that wasn't enough, Vivek brought out the Arroz Indiana for me to try. So what's in this? OK, so we have a bunch of seasonings that we use to season the tomatoes, the onions, uh, the black beans, and the potatoes, and the carrots. And then we add a different type of sauce to it. We add some broth to it, and then some water. And then we use pure basmati rice. Oh, lovely. And then it's topped with cucumbers. And then, and then of course, your papa's, papa's secret secrets. recipe to oh, make, give it that extra sure. To set zing. Kick. Okay, so what, what do you think, what am I biting into? Give me a little warning of what to expect. Or should I just go I think you it? should just, I'm just gonna go, go have it. a bite of it. All right, guys. Simple, easy, comforting, but flavorful. But taste the flavor. Mm-hmm. It's a fusion of flavor yeah. in my mouth. Like, oh my goodness. I can taste everything you're talking about. Um, right, and that now became what we were talking about earlier, using the more Italian-style technique of cooking, where mm -hmm. we're simmering the sauces down a little bit before we add the rice, yeah. making sure the flavors are con just layered throughout the cooking process. And again, it's very simple, but working in that system allows us to create this like explosion of flavor. And this is this is rice with vegetables. Mm -hmm. There's no meat in this. And no. you know, even for the person who's a meat lover, yeah. this is so good. You don't miss the meat. You don't miss it, but you can add the chicken. I mean, yeah. And, uh, you know, it's also really good. But I like it vegetarian. It's just, mm -hmm. the flavors are there. The black beans give me the texture of like something more substantial. Uh, the rice is Absolutely. flaky and I mean, it took us a while to figure out the cook times mm -hmm. on this to make sure it Guys, was... Guys, it is perfection. Perfection. So let me just say this. Firebird has been a fusion of flavors. That's what, that's what, that's what I, yeah. my takeaway. That, I know? think that's what it is. So if it's... that's what you were trying to accomplish... Absolutely. You have done it. You know what to do, guys. We're Worthing Square, Firebird, 
Vivek's vision and his team of fantastic young Barbadians doing their thing, head down, grab yourself something off the menu. You will not regret it. I'm Natasha King, your Bayesian tourist, and we will see you next time. And I'm going to keep eating.